Well, we're back here again. Uh, it's another another weekend. Well, technically it's a Monday. I've decided to take two days off work because... Because we want to. Because we want to. Why you gotta play that song so loud? Because we want to. Because we want to. Damn, I miss the 90s. Now, this one's a little bit frustrating because I actually purchased this to steal a reset switch off. LED diffuser. But it works. Which puts me in a bit of a situation because I don't really want to scrap a perfectly good SNES for no reason. Now you might say, well Shane, it's not perfectly good. Look at the case. Okay, it's got a little bit of discolouring. Okay, it's completely wrong colour. Interestingly, this part, which sits here, it's not discoloured on that side. Work that one out. Anyway, uh, we've decided, uh, me and the other, I think the owner of this one, new owner of this one, uh, we're going to try spray painting the case with some vinyl dye spray paints, uh, just to see how it comes up, because uh, really there's nothing nothing left to lose on that case. It is, it is hideous. Uh, given this snares wasn't meant to live anyway, it should be happy to be here. And it's got a removable cartridge slot, which none of the other ones I have have. This one is a SNSP CPU 01. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's got the same capacitor values as every as the R02. Although I did notice that this is different, and I don't know if this is common with all units, but there's some corrosion on the board up the back here. previous corrosion at least. Some over here as well. There always seems to be some over here on this side. And uh, on the back of the board, just on that metal EMI there, EMI shielding. Apart from that, it's in pretty good health. Seems to work. Cartridge slot can use a clean. Thankfully it comes off. So I don't know if you can see in there, but there's all sorts of goodies. So, I can't get a better video of that, but trust me, it's full of gunk. Um, oh, that's another thing, the um, thing's bent instead of just a straight bar. Yeah, not too many differences. I'm sure some of these chips are different. If you want to see the full photo roll, it's on, on the website, retrojunkie.net. Um, but we're going to give this case a spray paint, so stay tuned and... You can see the results, before and after. Oh, there's the bottom bit. It's the uh, color difference there. Mm-mm. In the canned glory. Is it SMT or SMD? Could someone clarify that for me? Anyway, brand new. Not as easy to solder, apparently, but I'll find out. And if they're good enough, heck, I'll go through and replace the other caps. Just to make it cosmetically nice. Even though it's got corrosion everywhere. <laughs> okay, so this board has been, uh, this is along with the removable cartridge slot. Uh, there was a lot of dust and fur in there. Uh, it's been recapped. We've used, uh, as you can see there, Not electrolytic radials, and they actually went on okay. Some of the values on these are a bit sus, I mean, this one here, 10 HFK instead of 50 V. HFK. 47, 16S, 16 volt 47. So, this one's ready to go. Nice big new cap there as well. Not that it does much apparently. So that's uh, that's done. And uh, yeah, that's recapped. Would I continue to use these in the future? Yeah, probably. I found it's a lot easier to use a slightly smaller case size. So these are actually uh, case size C's uh, in the space of case size D's. Uh, whereas this one is a blown D. Now I did also find some corrosion on the board around here. 
over here, thankfully. Continuity is okay. So we're all good. So now it's just a matter of getting it back into its case, which uh, is a work in progress at the moment. But uh, we're looking pretty good. Does look good, doesn't it? Subscriptions will get you more videos, so don't forget to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.